Low back pain is the second most common neurological condition in the United States. The lumbar spine is where most back pain occurs as it supports the weight of the upper body. Occupational therapists have a role in implementing therapy that incorporates education on the management of back pain. Water is a great medium to increase physical activity and decrease pain. Emergency responses pertaining to the pool in the form of didactic learning and in-pool scenarios that require pool evacuation drills should be taught to ensure efficient and appropriate measures are taken in event of an emergency. One type of equipment is lycra gloves placed on the patient's wrist and increases resistance for the upper extremity. This board is called the Wonder Board and can be used to challenge spinal stabilization through advanced dynamic exercises. The client is asked to emerge to the level of the Zyvos neuron and position in a comfortable neutral spinal alignment against the pool wall with knees slightly bent. The therapist can physically cue posteriorly at the lumbosacral junction and anteriorly at the abdominals. The client should be instructed to move from full posterior tilt to full anterior pelvic tilt and then choose a comfortable position between these two extremes. The therapist assists the client to hold the neutral spine until the client is able to maintain it independently. The client is instructed to maintain neutral spine while completing exercises, particularly those that require movement as it strengthens muscles and stabilizes the spine. The client can continue to emerge to the xyval sternum walking forwards with the resistance proceeding on three levels. Level 1 requires the client to walk forwards with the palms facing forwards for 1 to 3 minutes. Level 2 has the client walking with the arms abducted to 45 degrees for 1 to 3 minutes. Level 3 has the arms abducted to 90 degrees lying beneath the water level with the palms facing forward, walking forward for 1 to 3 minutes. Each level can be further graded as tolerated with the donning of lycra gloves. The client continues immersed to the sternum, walking backwards with resistance levels proceeding through three levels. Level 1 requires the client to walk backwards with palms facing forward for 1 to 3 minutes. Level 2 has the client walking with the arms abducted to 45 degrees for 1 to 3 minutes. Level 3 has the arms abducted to 90 degrees lying beneath the water level with the palms facing forward, walking for 1 to 3 minutes. Each level can be further graded as tolerated with the donning of leg gloves. The client continues immersed to the zyval sternum, walking sideways with the resistance levels proceeding through three levels. Level 1 requires the client to walk sideways with palms facing forwards for 1 to 3 minutes. Level 2 has the client walking with the arms abducted to 45 degrees for 1 to 3 minutes. Level 3 has the arms abducted to 90 degrees lying beneath the water level with the palms facing forward, walking for 1 to 3 minutes. Each level can be further graded as tolerated with the donning of lycra gloves. Clients could be supported or non-supported, squatting to cervical neck level for 90% spine unloading and pelvis positioned in neutral. Each exercise could be performed from 1 to 3 minutes. Level 1 progression started with shoulder flexion, 
followed by shoulder extension shoulder internal rotation shoulder external rotation shoulder horizontal adduction and shoulder horizontal abduction Next, the client did propulsions where the upper extremities were extended to 90 degrees, then to midline. Grading of the activity could occur through changing the position of the feet and the use of equipment for all exercises. The feet could be parallel to one another or in a lunge position. The use of gloves also increases the complexity of the exercises. The client stood where the water level reached a zymal sternum and could hold the pool edge or be non-supportive. Each leg was moved into hip flexion for one to three minutes while performing abdominal hollowing where the abdomen is pulled toward the spine for each exercise as well with the hip extension for one to three minutes. And abduction and adduction of the hip. For one to three minutes. To increase the resistance for all of the previous exercises, cuffs could be done around the ankles with the same exercises in length of time. Challenging spinal stabilization can be accomplished through advanced dynamic exercises. One exercise involves a client balancing on a kipboard with proper alignment as the therapist ensures the exercise is done away from the wall and that they are physically guarding or cueing the client as this exercise is attempted. Increasing the duration on the board would be the first progression. Next, um, movements integrated from easier to harder while sitting on the board, anterior and posterior pelvic tilts, flexion and extension of one knee reciprocally with both knees, moving the upper extremities away from the trunk, rotation and trunk flexion and combinations of upper and lower extremities. Strengthening the abdominals by resisting APT as the hip flexes requires the client to be able to maintain a PPT. In a shallow water, the client should position the spine against the pool wall. Once neutral spine is achieved, one leg should be lifted at 90 degrees of hip flexion at a time. And then one able both legs at the same time. The last field exercises is part of a 10 minute cool down that is done against the pool wall. While holding on, the client uses the heel of the foot to hold onto the bottom of the pool and the toes against the side of the pool to provide a deep calf stretch. Next, the knees are brought to the chest as high as possible. Next, the client can use the lateral rungs to provide a deep stretch for the hamstrings. It can also be used in higher rungs to provide a deeper stretch. The last exercise is shoulder shrugs. The first ones can go backwards. You can finish off with forward rolling shoulder shrugs. This video was made with Virginia So as OT and Vanessa Armstrong as a client. Big thanks to Jessica Lee for videotipping, Alison Boniman from Kari for her equipment loan, Dr. Linda Russ and Dr. Teresa Vallone as project chairs.